Well, I'm Mena Gilgood, and I was a ballerina, I suppose you would say, for um, many years, from the age of 16 till I was about 37. And then I turned to teaching and coaching ballet, and I directed the Australian Ballet for 14 years, and then the Royal Danish Ballet for two years. And since then I've been freelancing. It was um, intermittent pain, more or less, at different times. Um, and it got to the point where I was continually limping and uh, people were being very sorry for me. Um, it doesn't look good if a ballet coach or director is, uh, is limping badly and I was still teaching and I was still trying to demonstrate so it was, it was a real handicap. And in normal life also I was, I was limping. I was terrified of having a hip surgery um, I spent about 10 years from when it first started bothering me to actually having the operation. Um, and I suppose I spent, after I left the Danish ballet, um, a, or, or while I was there, a good, good six months very much researching the resurfacing. I th first heard about it happening in America because there, were, there was a lot of publicity about an, an American dancer who'd had a similar operation and so I found out about it through that and then I discovered uh, Derek McMinn and that the operation or a similar one happens in Birmingham and then uh, I met with Derek McMinn and um, he certainly gave me a lot of confidence and I went for it. The only time that I had pain was waking up after the operation um, for about an hour simply because I think I didn't press the button enough on the um, painkiller because I, I never take medicaments and uh, I was trying to be brave or something but I, I, I didn't even realize. Um, so for about an hour I was in quite a lot of pain and then uh, the physiotherapist came and the leg felt so heavy. I mean, just like this elephant leg. Um, and the physio came and said, now wiggle your toes, dear, which seemed like Mount Everest, the idea of wiggling my toes, but eventually I did. And from then on, somehow, some life came back, some nerves came back, and I was in no more pain. Uh, and from that day to this, I've not had one moment of pain. <laughs> All we need to do now is just to see you and stick both your legs behind your head. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> and more. That's the bad one. <laughs>